On my Facebook account, explainingmaps.com, uh, one of you asked me to help with this question about vectors. Um, so please also check my site, explainingmaps.com, for all my resources about vectors and all my other uh, past paper questions. Now, before I start, uh, this question is not created by me, so all the credit goes to Cambridge Examinations. And this is a question for the additional mathematics course. Now, what is going on? The diagram shows a large rectangular television screen, so that's a TV, in which one corner is taken as the origin O, okay? And I and J are unit vectors along two of the edges, as we can see. In a game, an alien spacecraft appears at the point A, so you have some sort of uh, space vehicle, with position vector 12J. Okay, so I'm going to immediately say... Um, I'm just going to make that arrow here, that is 12J, which makes sense because it only goes up, it doesn't go to the left or to the right. And moves across the screen with a particular velocity, 40I plus 15J. And I'm going to also put that in the diagram, so 14, sorry, 40I, that's the horizontal, uh, so that would be 40I and 15J, so roughly like that. That's how he is moving. Okay, that is 15J and 40I. Okay, let's continue. Per second. A player fires a missile from point B. That's over there. Uh, and the missile is fired a half a second after the spacecraft uh, appears. Okay, so the spacecraft is moving. And then after 0.5 seconds, you are firing a rocket towards the spacecraft. Yeah, we all know those types of games, I'm sure. Um... The point B has position vector 46i. So I'm going to put that, let's do that in blue, just to distinguish that is 46i. And that makes sense because it's only a horizontal, uh, it's only horizontally, yeah, it doesn't go up, so only 46i. And the velocity of the missile is ki plus 30j. So we don't know um, how much to the left or to the right. Let's just assume it's like that, and then it goes up 30j. I'm just, 30J. I'll just put KI there for the horizontal uh, vector. Good. K is a constant. Given that the missile hits the spacecraft. All right. So that is important information. So we know that the missile is going to hit the spacecraft. I'm just going to put a little line underneath that. Okay. The question for four points. Show that the spacecraft moves across the screen for 1.8 seconds before impact. Okay. So they say that this little the vehicle for 1.8 seconds is moving until it is hit by the missile. Now, it's very important to realize you don't have to prove or you don't have to show that the rocket hits the spacecraft because it is given that the missile will hit the spacecraft. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, so all you have to show is that at 1.8 seconds, they are at the same place somehow. Well, no, actually, you don't even have to show that because it is given that they're at the same place. You just have to show it's after 1.8 seconds. Now, I don't know what the horizontal displacement is going to be for the rocket, yeah? but I do know the vertical displacement for both. So if I look at the spacecraft, and I'll write it down here. So for the, the, the spacecraft, spacecraft, um, in 1.8 seconds, how much is he going up? 15 J. So I'm just going to say uh, 1.8 times 15. And if you put that in your calculator, 1.8 multiplied uh, by 15, and that is 27. So he's going 27 centimeters up. Okay, he's going 27 centimeters up because it's centimeters per second. Uh, but he was already 12 centimeters up. Okay, so I'm going to write that. Uh, 12, so he, after 1.8 seconds, is going to be 39 centimeters up, yeah? So I don't know exactly where he's going to be, but looking from the origin, it's going to be 30, 39 centimeters higher than that, yeah? Somewhere here, it's going to be 39 centimeters higher than the origin. Given that they hit, that means that the, the rocket will also have to be 39 centimeters up. But the rocket is fired, not at the same time, no, half a second later. So the rocket is only moving for 1.3 seconds times, not times 15, but for him it's going to be times 30, times 30. 
and you put 1.3 times 30 in your calculator and that is also 39 centimeters yeah so it shows that after 1.8 centimeters both of them will be 39 centimeters up and because it's given yeah that they that they intersect that they meet each other uh, yeah that is your proof that is enough okay moving on because I'm talking too much and I think I'm repeating myself all the time but it's just very important uh, this sentence is very important. We're moving on now for three points. Find the value of K, okay? So that constant there, what is the value of it? Now, let's have a look now at uh, a cross. Yeah? Um, so after one point, so basically you're gonna do a similar thing. So the alien vehicle after 1.8 cent, uh, not centimeters, after 1.8 seconds, um, he goes 40 to the right. Yeah, and that equals 1.8 times 40 equals 72 centimeters, okay? Why is it times 40? Because that is his horizontal vector, if you like, 40i, yeah? 1.8 seconds. And that rocket, half a second later, so 1.3 seconds, uh, times 1.3, uh, what times 1.3? 1.3 times k, I should say, equals 1.3k because his horizontal vector is ki, so k, yeah? Now you've got to find out, okay, so what is the value of k? Now, given again that they are going to hit, they have to be equal. However, of course, the rocket starts already at 46i, okay? So... The equation you have to construct is that the 72 centimeters will be the same as 1.3k plus 46. Yeah, I've done a similar thing for question I, yeah, where I added 12 because that already had the uh, it was starting at 12j. Here we started 46i, which is the horizontal one, so the 1.3k plus the 46 will equal the 72. And then you work it out, it's a relatively easy uh, equation, and you take away 46. On both sides, take away 46 and uh, 72, take away 46. I'm a little bit lazy, I'm using my calculator for that. That is uh, 26, so 26 equals 1.3k. And then you divide both sides by 1.3, uh, 1 1.3, so 26 divided by 1.3, and that equals 20, so k is 20. Now, if that was useful and helpful to you, can you like and share it, please? And then um, I will reach your friends as well. And you can check my site, explainingmaths.com, for all my resources. They're all for free. Uh, you can also ask me questions there if you want, or find me on Facebook or Twitter. I wish you a very pleasant day, and all the best. Bye-bye.